from somewhere located up on this planet. It's Mike from around the world. Mike, how you doing tonight? God bless you, Pastor Paul. <clears throat> Did we get it right last week? Got it dead on. You said we'd be oh, talking okay. about war, weather, and water. And you nailed all three. Let's start with war because, as you probably know, I'm sure you know, that the Isra- Israelis have have made their offensive attack on Iraq, on Syria, and on Iran. And then that news just now breaking on the mainstream media. We knew about it about an hour ago. You probably knew before that. Can you tell us what you know, what's going on here with Israel and uh, Iran and, and the entire Middle East? Well, they finally went through with it. They were they had three aborts uh, this week. Wow. So, um, yeah, three aborts. In fact, that began uh, Sunday evening and, of course, all the way up until now. This is a uh, low-level target, but the heart of operations with uh, Iran. That's where they – that's where all their – in Isfahan is where they do their research and development of nuclear weaponry. Okay. So this is a – this is a uh, – message of course but it is the beginning of a what could be a long campaign this will invite international rebuke uh, everybody should be familiar with that get themselves prepared for that yeah right Jim? strong international rebuke and so we'll start going into a direction uh, that we've not uh, been in before but it's going to be very divisive hopefully christians do not get caught up in the divisiveness um, because if people were sickened by all these folks who suddenly turn against Israel and supported Hamas activities, they're going to be sickened by what happens next. Are you saying that the, because the world condemnation that's getting ready to come on Israel is going to be worse than even the fact that they were fighting Hamas in Gaza and they were getting a lot of heat then? It's going to even be worse now because they're going to be blamed for causing the war to expand regionally. Is that what you're saying? Well, it's going to be much worse, especially in the USA. And here's why. I do realize, you know, they have these um, target packages that are being struck in uh, uh, Iran and various places. But I'm going to point everybody's direction back here to the USA. We all know we had uh, response systems go down yet again. Yes, we did. At first, they said it was um, cellular activity, right? The cellular companies went down. Well, press ball is a hardware issue. It's a hardware issue. Hardware. What, what do you mean? Yeah. I mean? What do you mean? That's bad. That's bad. That's You'd rather have a hacker. You don't want a hardware issue. And what that means is some of these devices, some of these uh, devices and your iPhones and everything else, in fact, this is why Apple did what they did with the, with the brand new iPhone. They had to get everybody replaced. Um, China... It's one of the largest manufacturers of uh, integrated circuits, right? And 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 MCUs or uh, those little tiny processors, microcontroller units. They are the largest. Uh, they have the largest production sites for this. They also have a small business. Normally uses Chinese companies to develop circuit boards, to develop uh, or to put together circuit boards, um, print them put the electronic components on them. And of course, those products are distributed around the world. China, Chinese people are very smart concerning electronics, right? Inside the circuit board, here's what was found. With no electronic components on that circuit board, these are four, five, six, seven layer circuit boards. They're very tiny. Inside those layers, circuitry was found. That's bad, yeah, right? right? So just imagine somebody gets a circuit board printed right, for some, some, a coffee pot, a coffee maker. And somebody gets that, and they get the circuit boards back, they inspect them, the circuit boards are perfect, right, they assemble those in the USA. What they couldn't see was on the internal layers of that circuit board, there was a control system, right? Okay. Secondary circuitry that, that is not, was not developed uh, by those engineers. And so, Because this is, um, in in essence, the circuit board itself became an electronic component, a smart electronic component. So when you have hardware that starts shutting down in 27 states, right? 
on the East Coast right now, there's a 911 issue. There's a DMV issue on the East Coast right now. There are two power company issues on the East Coast right now. There are water treatment plant issues on the East Coast right now. What? Right? It's starting to spread. So we all know what this is. It's not hackers? And it's not hacking? No, this is not hacking. This is hardware. This is hardware well, failure. Well, why you don't, is it you going don't bad? Have, well, why is it going bad? Well, you don't have synchronized hardware failure like this. No. Remember back when... Uh, MH370, I believe it was, when, when that company from Texas, um, they had folk representatives on that, on that aircraft. Plane, on that right? plane, yep. Um, do you know that some of those folks knew the relationship with, uh, they, they knew intimate details of companies that were in China that were working here in the USA. Um, they knew what they were doing. They knew it. And so the military at that time also began to switch all of its hardware, right, to U.S.-based hardware. They got rid of all Chinese chips. You remember that? Yeah. The Navy had to get rid of all Chinese chips. Um, everybody did. Why? Because they had a they had the shut-off uh, circuitry in there, which could be enacted by radio. How they would do that is they send a balloon over, you know, the area. That balloon would then ping those devices and shut them off. So it didn't matter. If it, if, if it were networked or not, they could shut those devices off. Um, so here we are, right, right at the brink of this Iranian issue, right? We start having issues with our emergency systems. And by the way, 911, right, that's tied to the FBI, CIA, and all these different places. So it's part of the critical infrastructure. And it is, uh, well, we, they have some things they have to do. Phone companies are starting to go down. All right, so, so it's been quite That's a few crazy. things that have been hit. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, so the websites still work, uh, but the hardware shut down. The hardware shut down. So you can access some websites, but you can't. You, there's no operational uh, validity to those signs right now because of what was uh, taken out so this is where we are this is connected i'll say that loosely well let me say it gently this is likely connected to what's happening in the middle east it is likely a part of a larger campaign and we're at the you know the low lowest level of this campaign that we're going to see in other words these would be the peaceful times so this this attack by uh, israel on locations in Iran, which apparently is that nuclear facility or at least that nuclear brain trust of the of the nuclear campaign. Also, bombs are going on in southern Syria yeah, and, and, and also in Baghdad. Can you tell us yes. what they're hitting in those two locations? Well, they're going after they're going after these two of them are, are air defense sites, right? But they're focused right now on the support systems dealing with Iran's ability to overwhelm uh, any one area with missile barrages. So what they're going for is the, these uh, radar systems, right? Uh, they're trying to get those out of the way. These are Russian radar systems, by the way. Even the even the attack against Israel, do you not know that was a Russian? That, that was a, a Russian tactic, right? Even down to the armaments. Are you- that was uh, fully Russian. Uh, that was a Russian tactical uh, Are you saying Russia is the one that orchestrated Iran's attack on Israel? Iran is operating, u- utilizing Russian procedures, okay. Russian offenses, Russian plans, right? So that means it's highly coordinated with Russia. And who's been supporting all this? Well, Iran, is, is, they get $88 billion, you know, that revolving money from China yeah. because of petroleum, okay? Right. That's, that's revolving, right? And those numbers are are not accurate. Those numbers are uh, somewhat degraded uh, by a large deal. So what we now have are three countries, right? I know people, they don't want to hear this, but you have Russia, you have China, and you have Iran. They have a joint force. Um, they have joint force operational planning against the West, right? Russia is pinned to the wall. You have folks in the White House who, well, they may not see hidden things about Russia. They they can't afford to give up the Ukraine. That's the only thing protecting the Western alliance, and it looks like it's faltering. Uh, you have China, who is supporting, um, they're paying out big money, 
right? Big money passed right. to both Russia and Iran. How can China do that? That's what everybody should ask. How can China give away, you know, basically trillions of dollars to both of those countries? I don't know. Right? How could they do that? Because sanctions are not doing anything, right? People should be aware of this. They should put this picture together. And then all of a sudden we're starting to have these USA-based anomalies, right? Right. Uh, the 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 bridge that was taken down. Yeah. It, all these things. But again, you have you have. Um, of course, we have these folks over here who are arrogant. I believe this is going to wake some of them up. But um, in our leadership, we've been having a problem for a long time. Uh, I believe that this is going to wake some of those people up. Now, keep this in mind. Also, Iran is not bluffing when they're talking about uh, retaliation. No. Okay. Some of the people out there, they understand and they know that for the last um, two, three days, um, there have been target packages exchanged uh, by with our forces. Right. Some of the people know this. Um, I, I can say that because it was public. Anybody who had access to the Internet could have picked this up. Uh, they're probably noticing a bit of uh, nothingness right now. Right. Uh, because certain things have gone hot you should right, say right um but those were a lot of packages exchanged right uh you're talking about putting logistics together they're getting their uh sea base offenses together right all this stuff is being put together by nato forces okay, right now okay, right it's okay. carried on right now so they've been working at breakneck speed to get this done Joe Biden has been he, he's been trying to talk everybody out of it. Here's the issue, though. Um, even if people would have listened to Joe Biden and not gone in. Right. It would have been a bigger problem anyway. You still have China growing. You still have Iran growing. You still have Russia uh, commanding, you know, both parties. So this was coming regardless. And Israel had to make a stand by itself. Now, is this a big mistake? No, it is not. It is not. It's something that was necessary. Will the world see it as a big mistake? Yes, they will. Yeah. Because now they're going to do. Every, now they're going to have the power to do what they need to do by force. Uh, people will be imprisoned over this. I'm telling what? you that now. Um, they will Where? be imprisoned over Wait. this. Now the credit rating. They've already within one hour, less than an hour of the attack, Israel's credit rating was dropped from A um, plus. Some of those folks will to be imprisoned. Minus. Who's going to get put in prison? Who, are you talking Americans? No, these are, we're talking about Israel, Pastor Paul. The teeth of oh, many wolves okay. are about to come out against Israel. Okay. And it's going to be they, against So Israel. you're saying they're going to start arresting Jews in different parts of the world. Well, no, they're going to go after um, Benjamin Netanyahu's oh, yeah. uh, members. That's who. Okay. But, but here's the unfortunate part. Wow. If people knew what was, what was down the road, they would absolutely support Benjamin Netanyahu a thousand percent right now, but they don't know, and you can't convince them, right? You just can't do it. Um, it it's kind of like prophecy. First of all, you know prophecy very well, but yeah. you can't make a person hear prophecy if no. they're deaf. No, nope. you can't do that. You can't make them see the truth if they're blind, and so we face a situation just like that, right? Yeah. Uh, that little dream I was telling you about, where somebody presented a tablet. And there were many plans on that tablet, and they were trying desperately to, to, to have our leadership look at that tablet, that dream. Everything took off after I was telling you about that, right? Yep. Now, but that, interestingly enough, they acted on that. Do you know that? Yeah. yeah they and, did act on that. And it was, Let me ask you this question because it's kind of funny. We're talking about all these things happening, of course, and, and uh, the war which is a, now really going to expand because you know Iran going to re, is going to retaliate and the world's going to justify their retaliation, which will make it even worse. Donald Trump, he's within an eyelash of somebody throwing him into jail. Uh, are we sure. on are the stone steps? Are we getting a oh, whole my Lord, lot closer? Ball. Could it all come together? Could 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 this all be coincidence? My goodness, no, it's not. I, you know what? I really do hope that that nobody out there thinks that I'm pat myself on the back or anything from a dream or something like that right i right. hope nobody ever does that because i think the only reason the lord would ever give me anything like that is because i have a microphone from time to time that's, that's right. what i believe that's right and just a vessel that's all but that's right 
you know, that, that those dreams are like plagues to me, right? I don't like having them. No, I agree. Nevertheless, they come in a way because you have to deal with this. For me, it's a very real thing, but you can't get others to see what you see. That's very rare for a person to see what you see. And with the stone steps, it, it just won't go away. You know, whenever I think it's going to go away, right? So, okay, Lord, we have a reprieve, then something else happens. And, and right. of course, Donald Trump is at the center of it, right? In the meanwhile, Pastor Paul, according to that, what the Lord showed me, the people are changing. And they're, they're becoming just like they were in that dream, the stone steps. You know, the, these people were implacable. You could not make peace with them. You could not, you know, it was a deep-rooted hatred. And of course, at the same time, right when the stone steps happened, um, 20 million people died. Oh, um, no, um, no. That, that no. missile barrage that came into this country. So, so we got to text. So as Trump in your dream or uh, was, was, was arrested or let's just say this handcuffed, maybe convicted of something, whatever. And, and they're walking him down the stone steps. There's then a strike. A missile, some kind of an attack on America that kills 20 million shortly people? Shortly after, yeah. Shortly after. Instantly. Shortly after. And from there, uh, the, the face of everything was different. Everything changed. Nothing went back to normal. No, was, I guess from not. there, uh, it was, you know. Chaos. That, that was just unfortunate. And, and the worst part about it is, you know, like I was telling you, I told you about that dream, that even prior to the to the actual act of the stone steps that um the the usa was overcome by something with tentacles that was reaching out all over the i believe that was the um, COVID 19 right okay. that came okay. from the west and reached out everywhere and touched everybody i believe that was COVID 19 because right after that prosecutions began now but one thing i didn't tell you was okay. even now even right now I can almost guarantee you that many Christians out there are conflicted. They're, they're going to become even more conflicted, right? Because they're trying deeply to find who they can, what they can trust. Well, Normally yeah. that causes high tensions between Christians. So I have a piece of advice. In, what was it, in the book of Jude? They were, they were, they asked, um, a person in the book of Jude, they said, can you lead us? You know, we want your son to lead us. He said, no, you're, you're, my son is not going to lead you. God will lead you, right? right. It, is, it is important right now for people who believe in the living God to look back to him for direction, not, not to look for a person to save them. Somehow we got to stop doing that. Yes. Right? If, if Donald Trump's situation, instead of looking to Donald Trump to save us, right, look to the Lord. Thank you. His will to be done and then compliment by prayer, Donald Trump, that his life will be greatly impacted by God's truth. Right. That's how you do it. Not put the burden on the man to, to, to you know, have him saved. Because if he does go to jail, you're going to have people that just turn like a dime. And all some of those people who support him right now, they're going to turn and hate him and mock him and do just what they did before he went there. Right. Plus, the people are going to be dissatisfied. So instead of setting your setting anybody up for failure, turn to the Lord for guidance. Amen. Compliment the leadership. Right. Pray for the leadership, because whoever steps into office, I wouldn't want to be that person. Whoever well, goes into office, it is not going to be a peaceful time. The Middle East is not going back to it, to the status quo. No, it's not. It's, not, you it's, know, it's over. It, it, when Iran fired 320 missiles and ICBMs and drones, which, oh, by the way, it was impossible that 99% of those were shot down when you had that many different players. I mean, the coordination of that would have been absolutely in, God had to have guided that. I don't know how that was done. But that changed it. Now Israel has struck back. Now Iran will fire back. The world's going to condemn Israel. The Gaza is still raging. Matter of fact, I have a report right here. Uh, explosions heard in Gaza. So Israel strikes back at Iran, but explosions are also heard in Gaza right now. So it sounds like Israel not only went after Iran and Iraq and Syria areas, but they went ahead and started the offensive again on uh, on. Uh, Hamas, while they're at it, um, they put, must have decided to put all no holes barred. 
and you know they're going to get condemned like crazy in the morning over this. Um, yeah, they are. Yeah, let me yeah, ask you. Are. Let me ask you this because I don't put my trust in Donald Trump because uh, I mean, look, I want him to win the election. Okay, I'll be honest, but he can't save us. No human being, no political party, no politician can save us. Jesus Christ is the Messiah, the only one that can bring peace to the world. And you're right. If people, uh, Christians, we got to keep our faith in God and not, not be led to the left or to the right and get caught up in all of the inertia and all of the foolishness and the media and the propaganda and let all the emotions run wild. But you know what's sad, Mike? Not everybody in this country is a Christian. Matter of fact, most people in this country aren't. So what are they going to do? They're going to they're going to follow Trump to the and if they walk him down those stone steps, you're going to see militias. You know it as well as I do. There's going to be groups yeah. gathering all over this yeah. nation. It's going to get ugly. Yep, yeah, Pastor Paul, I'll tell you, uh, those people. Some of the people will never. They'll never. Uh, they'll always. You know. Follow man, follow man to right. Donald Trump, right? right? They'll always do that. But here was the problem, though. These, when you have Christians and they allow anything to cause them to hate their brother, they're doing nothing but the work of the devil because it is Satan Amen. who gives people an excuse to target their brother. So, this is absolutely a time for a Christian to really, you know what? In fact, it's an opportunity for a Christian to most for the first time to experience. God's deliverance. If it's one thing God wants us to know is his deliverance, right? Amen. So he didn't call us to be people of the world. In, in the Bible, it says we're in this world, not of this world, right? right. So then every Christian is, is a bit different, peculiar. We're grafted into the branch. We are his people, but we're not called to support the activities in the earth. We're called to regulate the activities in the earth. We're called to subdue this earth, to have dominion over the earth. We can do that by way of prayer, but if we don't pray, then the devils run amok, right? That's and right. good people, good people become victims or vessels of darkness that shouldn't be vessels of darkness. And so instead of condemnation, uh, this continual condemnation, because it's coming, I'm, I'm telling you now, you're going to see, it's, in fact, in certain places, it's already happening. People who were longstanding friends with Donald Trump, I go turn they, on him. There are okay. ads coming out. There are ads coming out. And this is just over the court. These people were, were, the problem is they were making fun of him before he was elected, right? Right. They were making fun of him. And then all of a sudden, when he was elected, they became friends. See, if anybody who's been in a position of leadership, they can understand this one thing. When people do that, the only reason they befriend you is so they can have a position with you. Right. In other words, they're riding the coattail of his success. Right. But if he loses his success, they'll they're going to change. They'll drop so him like a hot funny. rock. That's right. right. Which <laughs> he and he's still a human being. Yeah. He's a human being. And that is not a good place That's to be. Painful. In. And so as a Christian, right? Christians have a, they have this opportunity right now before them not to fall victim to the stuff that the world is doing because God forbid us model the world in God's kingdom as we live this life. But we could actually step in and make a difference even right now with all this stuff running amok. In fact, I'll say this. This is that moment of the Lord's children for the, the greatest opportunities that have ever been. Every Christian out there knows they have... They have no motivation to speak unless something comes against them, right? We when have, something comes against a Christian, that's yeah. when they go back to the Word of God. That's when they start getting the Word of God, and, and they get they get loaded up, right? They get spiritually inspired. They get stronger. They grow. In a time of peace, well, there's not really much growth. You can celebrate, you can praise, but there's not much growth. Uh, this is a work. This is one of those workout times. But I give everybody a caution of. Tensions are rising in the Middle East. Do not forget, in order for them to be successful against Israel in the Middle East, and we know by prophecy, it's going to at some point be overcome. In order for that to happen, the USA must be totally tied up somehow. So we can't forget that. Amen. We cannot forget that. Here we have some breaking news now, some more additional news, we should say. Israel does strike back tonight. They did hit Iran. There's explosions are reported near bases housing Islamic Republic's nuclear facilities. And yep. Benjamin Netanyahu has, def this is a report by Daily Mail, says Netanyahu defies Biden, 
days after the unprecedented yep. missile barrage. So Netanyahu's going to take the blame. An official told ABC News that the strikes hit a site in Iran. However, it's unclear exactly which site that was. But footage is showed on social media. It appears to be uh, that it hit the nuclear facility in Isfahan, which is what you said earlier. Right. Um, now, we I still don't know, Mike, If and maybe you know, uh, where did it hit in Iraq and Syria? What is there nuclear facilities, or is there key strategic locations in southern Syria that that uh, Israel may have hit? Do you, okay, in uh, Isfahan, right? The nuclear uh, yes. technology center yes. is in Isfahan. Yes. right? that's the largest research complex. They have support centers, right? Some of those support centers or, uh, were compromised a while back, and so Israel. Is, is striking those targets. Now, some of those targets, Israel did not hit. Iran, right, or, or other parties tried to hit them directly. For example, uh, as soon as Isfahan was hit, there was a reaction almost immediate in Iraq, okay? Um, there was almost an immediate reaction in Syria. Same thing. Okay. So some of those targets right now it's going to be a bit confusing but the yeah. targets in iran are, are these uh, uh centralized low-level targets are real right so right now everybody's likely on standby pass i hate to say this but everybody is likely on standby for they have to be ready for some nuclear activity well are you are you uh, let me ask you this because in other words united states jordan uh the saudis the United Kingdom, maybe France, if I don't know where France is at, but whoever, are they all got to be on standby that Iran may launch ICBM missiles? They have to. With, they have with to. nuclear payloads on them? They have to. Could that happen and tonight? So they have, well, yeah, they. I know the order was everything had to be in place prior to today. Okay. Right? So, so the last week was very busy. Uh, everything had to be in place. So there were lots of... Um, uh, uh, target package exchanges, and anybody who can access the internet probably heard that. There were tons of them, right? We because have. people will see violence start to break out all over the place. The UK folks, they're going to have the biggest problems. Germany is going to have, uh, you know, the, the, uh, they're going to be below the UK, and then we're going to have our problems over here. They'll start mustering uh, by way of these little sleeper cells, right? They're going to be awakened. They're going to be activated, and, and they will be instructed to do anything they can do for maximum damage to the USA, the UK, Germany, all those uh, NATO countries. That those instructions are known instructions. If Iran is ever hit, these are standing instructions. Now, what does that mean? You have folks who are CEOs, presidents. You have folks who own things, right? Most, most of our gas stations in the USA that people use on a frequent basis are foreign-owned, right? It's nothing for them to shut those gas stations down to inconvenience the people. We already have uh, internal issues with hardware, uh, some hacking. Uh, data breaches are happening tonight, too. And um, all these things are happening at once. Why? Iran was hit. They knew the repercussions. Uh, everybody knew the repercussions, which is why nobody really hit Iran like this. So now the, those repercussions come, and they're going to be very real. We have to be ready for nuclear and chemical weapons. One of the biggest packet exchanges chemical, last night chemical. was for chemical biological warfare. Yes, that that is when 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 a country Iran is known for chemical weapons. So is North Korea, right? North Korea has been very quiet. North Korea holds a a huge stockpile of of chemical weapons, right? And so. We're dealing in something very different. These are the elements of warfare. These are, uh, you know, these are the days that were insecurities. Uh, absolutely, will be in the air. So, Mike, let me and, ask and, you. I'm looking here. Uh, Iran said, and I watched the interview with the Iranian foreign minister this morning. He was on Morning Joe on MSNBC. I saw him tonight being interviewed by Aaron Burnett on CNN. He was talking war. He was talking war. It was 8 o'clock in the evening. It was two hours 
about an hour actually before the attacks were launched on Iran, and he was already preparing. And his talk was war. Respond. We're, we will respond. We will hit them harder. We will hit them with weapons they've never heard of before. If we have to, we'll go nuclear. I mean, this guy was. And I said to myself, "Let's get. It's on. It's on tonight." And so, do you believe now that Israel has made this move, and you say that U.S. and all the allies are on standby, red alert, high alert, ready to move? Do you think Iran's going to respond before the night is over? Or do you think there's going to be a, 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 a two, three, four days a week before Iran makes a move? That's the part you don't know. You just don't know that. They're not going to wait too long, but they'll be hit again, right? Israel has to do what they have to do before the international community comes down with a gavel, right? So you're so they saying— have to, They have to do what they have so to do. So you're saying Iran, Israel's not done. This, no, they're, they're not, not done. One, it's not a one and done. They're, 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 right. uh, they have an operation, a full blast. That's right. That's right. This war is going to rage all night and all day tomorrow, and this thing ain't going to stop. That's right. It's not done, and it's not going to be. <clears throat> it's not according to anybody's timeline except Israel's timeline, and of course, uh, retaliation and strength of retaliation timelines. Right? They they will have these visual optics things they do for visual optics to appease yes. uh, the international community. But make no mistake, Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu. He understands what's in Iran. Uh, what's in Iran is not well known. It is not well known. And past Paul, there are things, weapons that people have developed that if they ever use them, uh, it's just nothing less than devastating. Right? Nothing wow. less. You've been you, saying you could, that. Uh, you have been saying that for at least a year that Iran had stuff that we don't, nobody knows. Probably chemical weapons from North Korea or or Russia, wherever they, they may have developed it. But, yeah, let me ask you, Passover's Monday. <laughs> Passover's Monday, and the reason that the Hamas said that they came across on October 7th was the, they even called it the al Ask flood, was to try, try to prevent the sacrifice and the burning of the ashes of the red heifer. They have four red heifers in the stall that are ready to go. Passover is Monday. That's the day they want to do this. But we got m rockets flying back and forth between Israel and Iran now. We're, not, we're past the proxies now. This thing yeah. went beyond the proxies. Do you believe or do you have any insight or any information on whether or not they will perform this ceremony on Monday no matter what? Well, I will say this. All, all this... Um all this international pressure is going to do nothing more, right, than to bolster their resolve in, in establishing what they need to establish in Israel. Right. So um, they're, they're, it's going to charge them up. You know how, if you ever know any families over there who are of the Jewish, um, yep. uh, deep-rooted Jews, you know that the all these international activities do nothing more than motivate them to go forward no yep. matter what. Yep. I mean, these guys will do that you've nobody has ever experienced such they can call it what they want to but these guys have they're they're fully committed to what they're doing i mean fully committed yep uh and it doesn't matter if they die or not it does not in fact they already understand that it's going to cost them everything and so they're saying fine we're going to do it anyway and they are absolutely committed to their results so if this is their plan uh th this all this activity is going to do nothing more than enhance uh, their motivations to get it done, right? Because they're putting everything in past. They 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 are moving things right now, despite what's happening right now. Things are on the move right now. Yep. And so, uh, yeah, we. I've we never are... seen them so close to performing this ceremony. They've never been this close in two thousand no. years. They no, uh, they no. are absolutely. And now I was just watching, of course. The United, let's talk about the United Nations Security Council. The vote tonight, the vote today was 12 voted to make a Palestinian state. Two abstained, which was the United Kingdom and Switzerland. And one voted no. And that thank God for that one. And that was the United States that vetoed it. Because if they hadn't, this thing was going straight to the floor of the United Nations. And they would have voted to part the land of Israel by force. 
Uh, but but America said no. That 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 uh, yet Biden said we're all for doing it. We're all for a two state solution. But it's got to be because Israel and the Palestinians can negotiate it. Okay, that's right. All right. Let me ask you. This is never we we've, we've never been this close. We've I mean this is what it's all about really the building of the third temple. Who controls the temple mount? Who's going to own the land of Israel? This is the holy war that the Bible said was coming that we've been prophesying about and preaching about and I wrote a book about and everything else about. We all know this is it. I'm going to ask you. Will Netanyahu <laughs> I mean, you got a certain faction there that wants to get rid of this guy, like ASAP, to the point they would assassinate him. Do you see him just holding the line and getting and 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 getting this thing done, no matter what the world does? I mean, are we headed to that Joel chapter three verse where it says the whole world? God said, "I'll bring the whole world down to the valley of Jehoshaphat and plead with them not to part the land." Are we almost at that point? Well, Benjamin Netanyahu is going to do what he can do. Okay. He's going to do exactly what he can do. So he's going to do what he does until he can't do it anymore. But but keep in mind, keep in, I'll say it again, keep in mind, even with the U.N., what you just said with the U.N., what everybody heard, that the USA said no, right? Right. Yes, some others who abstained, and the rest said yes. Yes. This gives us a global sentiment to what they're about to do. So let me let me let me throw this at you. These hostilities in the Middle East, right? The secret is out concerning the position of the USA. That's all I'll say about that. The, that secret's out. Yeah. It's only a matter of time before the USA is going to have, we're going to have our hands bound up. With our hands bound up, we have no voice. We don't have a voice. Right. Right. All so right. we're going to have a moment of pause where we have no voice. And in that moment of pause, the world is going to say, part the land. <laughs> You're right. There's going to be a weakening moment that uh, it had. All right, let's let's. Uh, we're watching close. There's m- news breaking. I'm sure we're going to get more, but we got to go to the water event because one of the things you said last Thursday. We're going to talk about war, weather, and water. Well, weather. I can tell you, the UN just announced. I'm going to show this shocking information. The climate chief of the United Nations said, "We only got two years left to save the world, Mike." <laughs> two years if we okay this is worse than aoc uh, she i think she said we got seven okay so before we go there we do have water events going on we had this incredible five and a half inches of rain in, in dubai they only get three inches a year they don't even have a runoff system this thing flooded them like they never seen there's floods in pakistan afghanistan kayakistan uh, and, and Russia, southern Russia, m- landslides, people dying everywhere. And uh, is this, and there was even a water event, some kind of coastal flooding in the East Coast. And that somebody reported that there was an 80 foot wave. Now, I don't know if that was a computer glitch or was there really an 80 foot wave near Antarctica? So tell us, where are we with the water event uh, and the, the, what you wanted to share tonight? Well, when, last week, when uh, somebody, when you posed that right about somebody said something about the water ripple or something like that, and uh, I want to go check that out. It was it was some sort of anomaly. Okay. I think it was caused from I think it was caused from a a, a pretty sharp snap uh, ice break, right? Because at the same time, yeah, they reported a break in the ice that was uh, just an incredible break. So I believe all that was tied together. It didn't go all the way, thank God, but it was all tied together. Um, that's one issue because it continues to melt uh, at, at a pretty fast rate. Okay. But the water, okay. past fall, everybody should know by now. Everybody should know by now that we're, we're beyond speculation. Uh, the the rains are unusual. They are unusual. Yeah. And do you not know um, the other day, about two, three, four days ago, I'm going to say something. I'm going to see how many people notice. Has anybody noticed how big the water drops are? How they're big huge. They are. They're huge. Right? And so because is the hail. The, <clears throat> the water droplets, normal water droplets in the heaviest of storms are, you know, something expected. You don't expect 
something that feels like a water balloon bursting on you. You know, you don't expect that. And so many people should have noticed huge water droplets. I'm talking, we're talking about uh, something that seemed like it was half a cup of water. Each raindrop half a cup of water, right? Uh, some areas I noticed on the, the uh, when they were reporting how much rain had fell, the actual time, and then the the um, public time, which they showed on television, it was different. The rain rates were much, much, much more condensed or much faster uh, than what was reported, right? Meteorologists are trying their best to dance around, scaring people to pieces, right? Because they will not tell. They won't be straightforward with these forecasts. And if, if you watch the um, Weather Channel, or something like that. They're always presenting the weather as though it's usual, right? And and believe it or not, some people now believe that. They believe all this rain is usual. They believe that, uh, you know, the increased flooding is usual. You know, some people believe that because the people who are forecasting are calm, right? And we're, we haven't started the rainy season. May is a known, you know, time for the rainy season right, right. for massive flooding. And with all this pre-flooding and the fires, it's going to get worse, a whole lot worse, right? The heating of the oceans is going to be far greater than it was uh, last year. All these elements combined are going to cause some wind, wind speeds <clears throat> and weather conditions nobody has recorded before, mm. right? So people mm. better get used to horizontal rain, right? Horizontal hail. Can you imagine that horizontal hail? That was reported in the last uh, <laughs> That's three or four days. That is, uh, uh, I mean, I saw hail, huge hail this week in several different places. Buckets full, larger than golf balls, falling everywhere, uh, straight line winds. Matter of fact, Israel Hall was telling me tonight that he was out, him and his wife were out driving around in a golf cart here in the villages. And all of a sudden he said it was a burst of wind. There was no wind. He's driving his golf cart. Whew, a burst of wind like almost tipped the golf cart over. And yep. then it was gone. And he said, is that one of my around the world straight line wind things? A burst? I mean, is there, is there, I know there must be seeding. I know there's seeding going on in the clouds creating, that could create some of these cloud bursts and some of this craziness. But tell us about this hail. Tell us about this wind. How can hail go, well, you know, hor- horizontally? Think of this. Think of this. Hail forms, right, through an updraft which means the wind speeds have to be 120 miles an hour going straight up in the air. Now, think of that. That's from the ground up. That's That's the direction it travels. That's how hail forms, and it is held aloft aloft until it overwhelms the wind wind speeds, right? So if you take a heavy object, it takes much more wind to sustain it, but you keep it up in the air. Once the hail is larger, right? So much uh, denser and larger and heavier than what the wind speed support, it comes falling down to the earth, but it forms from the ground up. The wind pushes the rain droplet up. It freezes. It holds it aloft. So you have these updrafts that are incredible. If a person jumped into some of these updrafts, right? Um, some of the people who are around 120 pounds or something like that, they could be, they could be pushed straight up in the air. Right? They, they absolutely could. Um, but now we have greater winds. The larger the hail, the stronger the winds are that's, that's holding hail aloft, right? Think about sideways movement. Now, these, these winds start from the sides. They travel laterally, and then they go up. These are straight-line winds, right? They come from all directions, being sucked in, and they go straight up in the air, right? Um those wind speeds are going to increase, which is going to increase the hail size. So we're going to have those horizontal winds that are extremely fast, say about uh, 140, right? Uh, and they <laughs> will produce some pretty large, pretty large pieces of uh, hail. Yeah, I mean that's incredible. That that's how it was formed. And over the oceans, it's going to be far worse. It's going to be. I wouldn't be surprised if they were forced to stop all cruises at some point. Whoa! I would not be surprised. Okay, 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 okay. Mike, we're getting ready to have a webinar again. This is going to be May 31st. Certainly we want you to be one of the speakers, and we're calling it Pole Shift. Is Are we 
Are we close to a pole shift? Do you believe that that's part of what's going on here? Is there a tilting going on? Is that affecting the winds and the stuff? Or and We a... have a wobble. We have a wobble, okay. yes, but we, we also have a tug, a sub-anomalistic tug to the entire solar system. Well, that is your binary See, it, it, it's, it's, it's somewhat irritating because you have these folks out there, they really believe, you know, they're born. Um, they're born to believe that somehow humanity is causing these problems. Everybody should put the picture know, together so to see where it, be- where it began at, right? I'll, I'll say something. This is going to be controversial to a lot of people, that, but this is basically demonic. So, so let me tell you why I say that. A long time ago, back in, back, in the, uh, back in the 40s, right, this alien abduction thing started, right? Now, yeah. at the same time it started, people started reporting that aliens were telling them that they were hurting the earth. Think about it, right? Yeah. Then they had children. They had children. And and some of their children were reported as being taken. So many more people got that message that somehow humanity is destroying the earth. I'm, I'm, I'm being factual here because most of the people you talk to who truly are passionate about saving the planet, right? They have some sort of, of dream, intuition, or some sort of interaction spiritually and something is telling them that they're destroying the planet they've been given dreams that they are destroying the planet and so they absolutely believe in this now we have another generation that's coming up right now and just about all of them believe it but you don't know it and they will they will lose their lives behind it now they're worshiping the earth right they're referring to the earth as gaia they're calling it she this and the other right so they're totally losing touch they're totally bought in you can't change their minds because they've to them they've had a supernatural experience that proves to them that the earth is is crying or hurting or something right um so that's what they believe so they you can't change their minds about this global the problem the reality is that all the planets are warming up all the planets are going through uh, weather anomalies right they're having weather weather based anomalies all over the place they were just talking about mars and some of the some of the brand new storms on mars and how powerful they are right uh they were talking about quite a few things and they're talking about this same activity on other planets plus when a volcano blows right indonesia who who will who will entertain one of the uh, uh, an emergency? That'll be an international emergency, uh, and they're going to have to have international relief soon. Indonesia, but when a volcano goes off, it releases enough carbon, uh, it, the same amount of carbon that we would all human beings on the Earth release in about what is it a hundred years? So it can release a hundred years worth of carbon in a few minutes that we release the- over a hundred year time. And, and and we just had a volcano explosion there today you go. in there you Indonesia. Go. There you go. So you're saying there there's a hundred so. years worth of carbon that there all of man, just like all that, of, just all like that. Okay, just in, like that. In the book Revelation nine eleven, folks, if you go to page seventy six, for those of you who have our book, the Gaia hypothesis. Okay, it's exactly what Mike said. The Gaia hypothesis is a model in which everything on Earth is viewed as interactive parts of a single organism. It is a mixture of science, paganism, Eastern mysticism, and feminism. Those who adhere to this brief system, which includes environmentalists, globalists, and New Age groups, have become increasingly concerned that the environmental degradation is not only leading to the extinction of many species of animals, but poses an existential threat to humanity. And so right. they worship Mother Earth. Instead of Father God, and they re- this has become in, the, in my book in the sixth chapter. It's called the Green Religion. This is what we we are saying, Mike, that we have become we have so forgot about God. We have pushed God out of the picture so far that He don't exist. Yeah. And yeah. then you got some guy running around hollering, "We got two. If we don't, humanity's got two years left, Mike. If we don't do something right now, every volcano that goes off." is more than 100 years of what man can do. What foolishness. We have a bigger problem. It's called Planet X or, or, or Nibiru or Planet Number 9 or this binary system. We got a lot bigger problem out there than, uh, than what a few tailpipes is going to do. And the biggest yeah, problem we got is in the, and the biggest problem we got, as you've been preaching forever, is the heart of man. Yeah. Mike, let me say yeah. real, real fast. We got some breaking news just real quick. On this Iran thing, um, Iran has now fired 
air defenses, according to state news agencies. Iran, uh, state-run agency, says they have been firing air defense batteries, have been fired in several provinces, and also Iran has suspended flights over several cities across their nation as it comes after Iran's FARS news agency said explosions are being heard near the airport and also near the nuclear facility there in Isfahan. And the cause of these sounds is still unknown at this moment. This is what their agency is saying. We all know what it is. But the Iranian state TV described this loud noise near Isfahan as, as ex, ex, exasper, or ex, uh, ex exorbitant there's the word it remains under there's a lot going on so iran's trying to tell their people look we're firing back we're trying to do what we can do to stop them they've shut down there's planes i read earlier planes on their way to iran that had to be ch- turned in midair and headed somewhere else commercial airlines this thing is going yeah. is going um we're in, are we in psalms 83 new are we almost in ezekiel 38 mike well, I, be, I believe past ball is all forming. It's all forming. I know they have no fly zones uh, that, are, that went up all over the place. They're diverting traffic. Other country. Something interesting, though, about an hour ago, uh, planes were diverted. Certain planes were diverted about an hour ago. So uh, yeah. that's interesting. But, but past ball, we're, we're just at a time. You know, I think all of us knew it. I think all of us did. All of us knew it. We're at a time where things actually change, where a lot of these uh, things that God has given, these insights God has given many of his children are coming to pass, right? It's also a time when people have to remain, hopefully they remain calm and they're not frightened or stirred, moved about these things. Because um, uh, the other night I told some folks, I said, listen, if it happens, there's nothing we can do about it. Nope. And if it does not happen, there's nothing we can do about it because we have a different role uh, in this time that we live in. But but I hope that people are staying focused because these end times events, God demonstrated to us how hatred would be directed at those who truly believe. That yeah. means those who truly don't believe, they're going to be embraced. Those who truly believe, are going to be rejected from family members. They're going to be rejected from their friends and everything else. Why? Because they're going to have they're going to have different views, right? It, a Christian's not going to join in to the mob mentality and start persecuting everybody because no, um, no. fights. Believe it or not, fights broke out last night over over thoughts of Iran and Israel. Well, what about among, among believers? Well, okay. <laughs> among uh, who's right and who's wrong? Now, Are you in, kidding me? Columbia University had protesting going on today. 108 people were arrested including Congresswoman Ilhan Omar's daughter. They drug her away in cuffs. Um but when you say there's fights breaking out among believers, Yes. You're believers. saying some of them are standing with Israel and some of them are anti-Israel and are willing to fight with their brothers and sisters over this? Over external issues. Even even past Paul is so petty. Even over even over this attack with Iran, right? Yeah. You have you have no doubt you got a group of people who may not have seen the news or something, and they'll say, Well, it's not, it's fake. And they start throwing the other half of the Christians under the bus and back and forth. What darkness is that? What darkness is that? So we're in a time right now where these situations are going to bring the truth out of everybody, and they're just beginning. It's going to get a lot heavier. If, if anybody has been paying attention, we've been on a steady incline, right? Something will take place. There'll be a small reprieve. Something takes place is even more drastic, a small reprieve. All the while, the world is, is degrading quickly, quickly. Right now, we sit at the threshold of a brand new type governing system and people are not paying attention. Right. We're not talking about a president. We're talking about a council taking place of the presidency. We're talking about in this country, wow. they're ready to do away with the constitution. There, there, there's right. too much talk about suspension of the constitution from, from all directions, right? Is there a council already in place that's managing the presidency for Biden, and I'm not saying that because of you Biden. You better believe it. You better believe it because he's listen. He's he's just like uh, the the uh, Apostle Paul said. The, the 
body is willing or the spirit is willing that the flesh is weak when you get so old you your yeah. your mind in your mind you know you what you want but your body's not going to keep up with it right but over time then it gets totally turned inward right and when it comes when it comes to policy we're so divisive concerning policy right now that a president is is just ineffective by himself but he can't stand on his how own come, feet how come right? carrie kennedy and her whole family he's she's the sister of robert f kennedy jr how can the kennedys the entire kennedy clan go to philadelphia and embrace biden and leave their brother on the side oh easy what easy how did, did they get bought i mean tell me how that happened fastball the you know these folks right yeah. these folks they may not have the same faith level as you do right okay and so guess what yeah their only salvation is green money money that's their money. salvation well, that's bad. without without that money right they are no one they have no in fact think of the think of the most famous people you know in society Take away their money, and who are they? Nothing. Who are they without their mansions, cases, cars, money, and everything They're nothing because they, they don't have Christ. They don't have society. There you go. They don't live you based go. on their faith. They don't walk in the there spirit. They don't have moral go. standards. They don't have convictions for God and for, for their families and for the country. So they'll do anything. They'll do anything to hold on to that They've money. They've been bought and paid you know? for by Lucifer. Yeah, they'll do anything. Is there a lot of Luciferians, Mike? Yes, sir. Yeah, they are. That's why they're so passive with their policies, right? Okay. Well, I, 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 what was an abomination to the living God in the beginning is an abomination now. Nothing changed. Amen. Amen. But you have people who pass policies that make abominations legal, absolutely legal, right? For the people, right? Hopefully, people understand that even though it's legal <laughs> in a country, we're bound by moral, uh, a moral standard with the living God, yeah. right? Um, there, but there are too many. People are too, what's the term? They're too laxed in their own personal integrity and discipline, right? right. Cursing, for right. example. How many people curse and think nothing of it? How oh. many people see nudity and think nothing of oh, it? Oh, yes, right? yes. I can't even look. You, you know what? Call it weird or whatever, but I'm old-fashioned in that. I think right. it's, this world is disgusting. It's no less it's than went, disgusting. It's went beyond. There is no moral stent. You know what Jeremiah said? The people... Don't even blush. No, no, they don't. They don't blush. It's no, in the book of don't. Jeremiah. It, Israel at one point got so wicked and so immoral and so sexually uh, perverted and out of control that Jeremiah said, you people won't even blush at the at the things that are going on. Um, are we there That's today, right. Mike? Are we? Is America there Oh, yeah, we've there been today? there. We be, America's definitely there, right? America's definitely there. And we're, we're just not ashamed of it. Right. We're 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 trying this. We're getting other countries to become abominations just like we are by way of our policies. Right. So uh, but but here we have again, we have a lot of people who are calling on people to save them and not the living God. That's what they're doing. Mm. This is going to cause passage is going to cause deep divides going forward with those who truly believe. You're going to hear a lot of people say we need the Lord. Then you're going to hear the other half of the Christians who say we need a person. Right. We need a, uh, this person, that person. So then what what the Lord is doing in these end time, all this stuff must come because I found out something in life that people may not agree with. They may agree with. I found out that there's only one moment in time when you can actually know who people are. You know when that is? When it's right in the middle of a crisis. Right now, you'll never know. You'll never know who a person is during peacetime, because every everybody at some level is an actor or an actress. Right. You know when you're at those those uh, uh, you, you, people go up to each other and say, "Hey, how you doing?" You give them a hug and this and that's that's just common. But it's it's not necessarily that we were thinking about that person. No. We can smile. We can do all sorts of things. But when everything goes wrong, that's who we really are. That's when, when you separate wrong, the men from the boys. Strained, that's right. That's when we're going to separate the wheat from the tares. That's right. That's when it comes down. In a moment down. of crisis. In a moment of crisis, Mike, that's when you find out who Mike, you are. Mike, 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 you said we would have water events. We're having them. You said we'd have weather. We're having it. You said we'd have war. You were definitely on board there. Because last Thursday, there was no attack on Israel yet. 
So in seven days, Israel's been attacked, and Israel has now attacked Iran. And the whole world, the United Nations, we're about ready to split the land, and, and, and people are pointing fingers, and Biden's mad, and everybody's upset. Tomorrow, and, and the stock market is tanking. I mean, the futures, Heidi walked in here and said, everything's tanking. Because and, and oil prices are starting, the futures are starting to soar within the hour. What kind of a day we're going to have tomorrow, Mike? What, what are we going to what are we going to do tomorrow? Well, Pastor, I, I, I'll say it again. Um, I know we have Middle East activity, right? Yeah. The USA is a target. Yeah. Germany is a target. The UK is a target. Italy is a target. All these places are target. We're going to be dealing with a whole slew of issues that seem highly irregular and anomalous. You know, if I were a person, especially pertaining to computers, I would certainly make sure everything is backed up uh, now. I would do that right away. It's a known fact that there's a huge compromise of data that happened in the last, I'll say, 100 hours. Um, and it's unknown to what end that will meet. Cyber, um, uh, the, the, all these cyber threats that have been coming in are being handled, but they're starting to overwhelm the systems. Folks have been, we've had failing systems. We've had failing emergency systems. We've had failing uh, um, um, federal systems, right? The ID system has been failing. Police officers cannot run plates in certain states. I'm not going to tell you what states those, those are, but they can't run plates. They can't verify your identity. What? Um, th there are some things, and this is happening right now as we speak. Right now as we speak. There are phone companies who are the, the, yesterday. It started yesterday. One phone company who, is, who has fiber optic lines all over the place had physical cuts in their fiber, right? <laughs> That, that again, it happened today with internal hardware failures. Now, people can call that people can call that coincidence all day. Something is happening within the United States of America that nobody's paying attention to. You're right. And don't look to the media to put the story out. No. They're still going to try and keep everybody calm, right? No, that's right. But but if people are aware of it, uh, hopefully they won't be shocked when they when they find out that uh, you know we've been compromised. Well, we had on, a couple a of movies. Level. Barack Obama brought out Leave the World Behind, showed a boat out of control being hacked, ro running the ground. We had our problem over there in Baltimore. Since the eclipse, since the eclipse. We've been going downhill. <laughs> we haven't even got our 40 days in, and this thing is falling apart. We're going to hell in the handbasket. Yeah. All right, I got one thing last thing to say, Mike, before you go. Why is Israel striking Iran? Here's, here's CNN 10 minutes ago. Israel has carried out a strike against Iran. U.S. officials tell CNN in a move that threatens to trigger further deadly conflicts throughout the Middle East. The attack came hours after Iran's foreign minister, Hassan Abdullahan, and I'm not going to say that twice, told CNN that if Israel takes any further military action against Iran, its response would be immediate and at a maximum level. Israel had for days been weighing its response to Iran's unprecedented weekend strikes on its soil, most of which were intercepted. But Iran launched the attack in retaliation for what? For the suspected Israeli strike on the embassy compound in Syria. That airstrike. Okay, so here we're, we're, we're trying to prove Israel, you caused it. Then Israel, you caused it. Did you hear what I'm saying, Mike? 11 minutes ago, CNN has just basically told us that this thing is going to threat further deadly conflicts throughout the Middle East. They just announced it. That's what's coming. That's what's coming. We just were told by the government to CNN, to me and you, and to us, it's coming. It's coming. That's why it was important for aircraft target packages to be exchanged, loaded, and, and verified uh, all day yesterday, it seemed, and, and prior to that. Right? So we are on a type of nuclear watch right now. Yes, a hundred percent. So nothing happening right now should be it, it should be minimized. People should be aware of it. But I can tell you right now that uh, it is not a stretch of the imagination to say that uh, some nuclear usage is 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 on used. the table right now. It's on the table right now, right? It's on the table. So everybody has to be ready for that. And chemical warfare, likewise, it's everybody has to be ready for that. So militaries are, are, 
about to go into uh, their, their, they've kept it pretty quiet, but the chemical biological threat is more real than the nuclear threat. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Much more real. And don't forget, Russia might take advantage of this chaos. And don't forget China. They might decide it's a good time to take Taiwan. And, of course, our little buddy down in North Korea, he loves to play with the green buttons. Who knows what he might do to South Korea, um, which is what we've been talking about on this show for the last 10 years at least with Mike around the world and others, that this is the moment. This is the moment we told everybody it was coming. Nobody believed us back then. You're a fear monger, Bagley. You and Mike around the world are fear mongers. Here we are. And oh, by the way, some kind of binary system's pulling on the entire universe right now, causing the, probably the biggest threat of all. Mike, what are we going to talk about next week? Can you give can you give us a clue? What we will? Well, discuss? I think you know what we're going to have. We're going to be talking. Um, we're probably talking about some cyber issues. Okay. Some some cyber issues and uh, legal issues, jail issues, right? Um, huh? I would I wouldn't take shutdowns off the table. At some point, certain activities are going to have to be suspended within the USA. Certain activities may have to be suspended in the United States. Yeah. You think they might put Trump in uh, jail bef- and put him in uh, jail for thirty days while the trial's going on uh, before they ever even convict him? I hope not. Right. I really do hope not. You wouldn't not. rule it out, um, though, would you? No, I don't put anything past those people. I don't do that. Uh, if, these if, There are certain people here in the USA that are quite vicious. Yeah. If they want something, they're, they're running the show. You know, they'll, right, but they also, at the same time, they also provide entertainment for people. Right? Yeah. They do. through through. So very real people are playing roles they have no idea of. They become the casualties of somebody else's evil uh, uh, entertainment, you know, production. And it seems like too many things are staged these days. But um, I wouldn't rule that out. I- I'm praying for Trump most of them. I'm praying for Biden, sure. too. I'm praying for all those uh, guys. All of them. Because we, we don't uh, need this. We don't want this. No, we don't. I just know, I just know that nobody can attack. When you think about prophecy. Yep. And you know that Jerusalem at some point is going to be taken. Yeah. The USA did not stop it. How can Israel be occupied for three and a half years and the USA didn't stop it? Right. I know for a fact if it happened, even if the president would not send people, people would volunteer to go over there by their own wallet. Right. Yep. Just like they did the Ukraine. Yep. They went to the Ukraine and and nobody sent them over there. They volunteered. So there's a what there's Americans there's Americans that I know of have already left for Israel. They've already joined the IDF. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, they've already yeah. joined, and so yeah. and more are on the way because they know. As a mom, you know. Yeah. How important. But my is. point is, my point is, what happens to us, the United States of America, that we did not stop somebody. Right. The, these elements in the Middle East from occupying Israel for three and a half years. How could we not intervene for three and a half years? Something happened to the USA and prophecy that we were not able to help Israel for three and a half years. That's what I'm saying. I know you're right. And I don't know what it is, but I know you're right. It's in the Bible. Mike, thank you for coming on tonight. I'll let you go. I mean, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Uh, we, we, Lord willing, if we're still on the air, if we're still able to do it, we'll be back here next Thursday night. Look forward to having you on. Thank you for coming on tonight. Fastball is always an honor. God bless you. The honor is mine, brother. Thank you so much. God bless.